2, fusion. Hey, you okay? You ought to be resting. Wish I could, but I'm the only one who knows what happened last night. I've been gathering some info on Melissa. She's got no relatives. And no close friends. She was sick, often always on some kind of medication. People at the opera said they were amazed she could even stand on stage. Her apartment burned down right after the incident, so we have no info on her medication. So what's this spontaneous combustion stuff all about? It wasn't exactly spontaneous. People were actually set on fire. Oh, come on. What, like one of those ESPN things? I couldn't help myself. That's the best way to describe it for now. ESP, huh? Well, I'm not buying it. But if you're right, how are we supposed to deal with something like that? I believe her. After all, I is the only witness so far. But if we're going to take on a suspect like that, you better ask Baker for a better sidearm. I read your report. I, I forgot to abort. I uh, recorded a video and I uh, decided to leave because it, it was like I uh, just messed up setting on Duck Station. A read report uh, still hard to believe, but we can't deny all those deaths. We're going to go all out to solve this case. Make sure you're well equipped. Go down the weapons department and give this permit to Torres. He'll help you out. Come back later. I like uh, the sound effects. this with the headphones it's just great uh, I think I only need to talk to these people like once because they won't have other stuff to say but if you're right how are we supposed to deal with something like that yeah like I thought Yeah, same thing from the cutscene. So, phone to save. Not going to save yet. Let's see if there's anything in here. Let's go ahead to Torres. There you go. Just got to be real specific with the doors. Which is kind of run into the doorknob, not just the door itself. Weapons department, you didn't hit your head last night, did you? It's right downstairs. One of the reasons I'm going to the weapons department it, right, as soon as possible is because of um, um, the item boxes there. This is Dotton Box. His name is Wayne. Wayne Dotton Box. Hey there, good looking. That's the crap, Wayne. Where's Torres? That baldy? Who knows? So will it be shotgun, rocket launcher? Why you have a rocket launcher? Wayne. Yes, sir. It's like you are the reason why guns won't disappear from this country. Get your ass back to weapon storage. You're far from ready to be handling guns in here. Okay, okay. Sheesh. Does Wayne have a mullet? Torres, I need some equipment. For last night's case, heard it was quite a mess. But as long as cops rely on guns, criminals will too. 
is a vicious cycle a to hand weapon to a young cop like you but I heard this isn't your ordinary crook guess I can send you off handy empty handed This is the most powerful gun I can allow you to have. The M16A1. Captain Baker, already know if I may show me your modification permit again. Which gun? Guess the one you gave me? Right here. Right here. All set. But just remember cops own guns for protection. Don't let the guns on you. Psst. Don't tell Torres, but you can use your tool to tune up your guns. Sounds sexual. You can rearrange equipment parameters and add and added effects to tweak your equipment. I can show you some cool tune-up techniques. I don't remember this was in the tutorial. Us using the tool item, you can add re or remove parameters and added effects on your weapon or armor to create your customized equipment. If you remove an added effect from a weapon or armor, that equipment would disappear. That sucks shit in games. I can't. I hate it. I don't know anyone that does. Uh, the number of effects that can be attached to a piece of equipment is determined by the number of slots on that equipment. You can increase the number of slots by getting your, whip, your equipment modified at the NYPD weapons department. You got it? Trust me, you can never have too much firepower. Of course, can't use them without bullets, so you better make sure you can, You always have your club. I think the club can, uh, when you hit enemies, you get more ammo from them. Just in case, you know. Now, why don't you leave the stuff you don't need with me? Uh... Doors and items. Don't need the theater key. Kind of wish it does this automatically. I just press X and it just automatically moves. Mm. Don't need the revives. I'll hold off on using the fence and defense ones just for now. Um, I don't think I can use move this one because I have it equipped. This fest might be better. <coughs> I don't got any junk. I'll be getting junk um when I start finding monsters uh in this chapter. Uh, change guns to the M16 armor. Yeah, this is just better armor. I think I'll be getting better armor in a few minutes.
don't think there's law rooms I have to check in the police department. I think there's the just this room, that one that I can't use. Doggies. I wish I can pet them. That one's walk on the wall. The, you see it? It's barking at me. I love to just watch them. I always come here after my shift to relax. That's nice. There's one on the wall. A little photo. Things got his tongue out. talking to him. Let's not talk to him yet. I don't think I'll be using that uh, vest I just got. <laughs> Alas, it's mine. I don't know if he's robbing the dead police officer's uh, stuff. There, I'm in the reflection. You know, I'm like up against the wall. Now, wait. Uh, oh, it's okay, I guess. Uh, remember the reflection at the dressing room at the theater was just awful. I, you better put on your vest too. Can't be too careful. A little, I think it's a little off. Yeah, it's kind of off. Let's go for here. I don't think there's any items here. This guy. What's the case? You, what case to have on Christmas home? I don't think anything's here. 
potatoes desk right there. Potatoes top. They're just off why they use them in the university class. Well, a few classes, and it was just a miserable experience. Sorry, only authorized personnel are allowed past here. Mm, let's talk to Chatty Kathy. Oh shit, I forgot her name's actually Kathy. You met Daniel's son, Ben. Daniel divorced his wife last year. This was before you were assigned here. He kept saying every boy needs a father. So he fought for Ben's custody with Lorraine, his ex-wife. Well, he won, but being a cop, I doubt she, he has time to spend with him. Oh yeah, Captain Baker was looking for you. So yeah, I have recently transferred year, at least recently this is within a year. Anything you need to say? Well, if you're right, uh, no, you don't have anything new. Find your story. Oh, yeah. It's not a story. It's what happened. Yeah, kind of wish it was more obvious that the cutscene ended. You were looking for me? Yes, we're having a press conference now. I want you there too. Me? That's right, you'll be on national television as the sole survivor of that incident. I see. But you'll only answer when I, I ask you. The media is just looking for anything to grill us about. They may even turn you into a suspect, so you let me do the talking. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay, then. Let's go meet the press. I remember this part. So you're from even from before I recorded it, uh, yes, the other day. So you're saying this could be the work of terror of a terrorist? That is what we currently speculate. How about counts of officers and firemen at the scene bursting into flames? That was that was due to a rare hobby of flammable chemical which was used to start the fire. Another question. And how did Detective Brea survive without so much as a minor burn? That is a result of her quick thinking and training as an officer. I'm asking her the question. She. She said that Mike Monica, there's the part that cracks me up. She said Mike, that Mike Mitochondria were a mutation. I, uh, your mitochondria? Who said this? Melissa. No, she said her she was Eve. But according to a report, Melissa Pierce was killed in a fire. Why they put that in the report? Melissa did die, her body had been taken over by this Eve. What's this Eve? Some kind of alien? People please, she is very tired. We are still investigating. That'll be all for today.
that part. I have I told you not to say anything. <laughs> I'm telling the truth, yeah, this I mean that's they just they're just now nonsense uh yeah. Make to them it's some nonsense. That's not the point who's going to believe you exactly. <laughs> you only stir up the media and cause people to panic. Sir Shields only Baker here. Who? What does he want? Well, I'll put him through then. This is Captain Baker. What? Meat? You have to speak up. Yes? What? Yes? Alright. Some Japanese scientists, I think, couldn't understand his English too well. Can understand your, his English too well? Yeah, oh. I don't know if I said it wrong. Um, he was raving about some might oak something says he's coming over here. Might O? Is that the name of um uh my hero academia uh character? No, it's all mine. Is it mitochondria? You mean that thing in this cell that makes energy from oxygen? I guess the thing I was talking about earlier. Might have heard about that in school. That's what Eve has said. That it's time for the mitochondria to be set free. Hey, I just read that some researcher at the museum wrote a new theory on them. Sir, I'm taking Aya uh, to go talk to this researcher. Go. Better get there before the media. It may explain that phone call too. Yes, sir. Come on, Aya. History, Dr. Hans Clamp will be there. I don't remember it going to black when I select the museum. Well, I mean, I remember like zooming in to the museum or something. I might be wrong. Dr. Clamp, what's his area of research? Well, according to the papers, he's working on a new theory. I mean, they just said that he's working on mitochondria theory or something. Mitochondria is something that seems to cover the whole genetic spectrum. That's odd to have a PhD and be working in a museum. Well, he's pretty antisocial and doesn't like to waste time outside research. Oh, great. We're going to have a grand time with this one. Yeah, yeah. I know where you're going with this. Just be careful this time, huh? 
Are you referring to the press conference? Yeah. Daniel, why do you kiss the chief's butt? You two joined the force at the same time, didn't you? Yeah, but that was years ago. Now he's my boss. Oh, here it goes. Yeah, I thought this happened before that cutscene. It's been a while since I visited the museum. Dinosaur exhibit. Loved these things when I was a kid. Hmm. Looks like it's closed today. Uh, Daniel just moved. Well, let's see what this, that security guard can do for us. Hey there, how you doing? Doing okay. Pretty cold today, though. How about yourself? We're with the NYPD. We're looking for a Dr. Clamp. He works here, doesn't he? Sure does. As a matter of fact, he's up there in his room right now. Did he do something? Nah, we just want to talk to him. That's all. Thank you. It shouldn't take long. This is pretty creepy without any people. We'll find, you'll find them on this Richard's lab on the second floor. Look here while I stand on this uh, door. He's been pretty busy for the past few day, weeks. Doesn't come out ever. Thanks. And here's a phone. Oh, by the way, could you sign in? It's policy. Let's us keep track of who comes in. Thanks, Aya. Gee, Daniel, you sure you don't want to run down here and do it yourself? No books on the counter. Thanks. Just my name? Yep, that should be enough, unless you want to leave your number two group. She just put them off. <laughs> Can I? Oh, yeah, this is the phone. I can't use it. I just love that part. She just flips them off. I think she did. Hey, yeah, uh, yeah. Over here. It's open. Let's check it out. Now it's open. Excuse me. Hello. Hey. Dr. Clamp. Dr. Clamp. I hear you. We're with the NYPD. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Professor, we're looking for clues concerning the incident which occurred. Are you accusing me? What? This again? What is this? This man. I know him, I think. Yeah, you're staring right right at him. Oh 
Oh, God, Aya. Are you okay, Aya? Y yeah. We'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. NYPD, huh? Why are you interested in my work? Suspect mentioned that the mitochondria would be set free. Now, do you? That suspect united people without laying a finger on them. Then transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Since the Shinshi mentioned mitochondria, we were hoping you could supply us with some info. Uh, you two have absolutely no idea what the true mitochondria is like. Do you? Kind of like this music. Mitochondria possesses its own unique genetic code. Its own? Are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. Kind of like a parasite or something, huh? Parasite. That's an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. We cannot live without the mitochondria, do you understand? The mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we're nothing. We are here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. Our brain, for example. The brain functions due to the interaction between the axons and the dendrites. This interaction is possible due to the energy the mitochondria provides. Do you know the mitochondria is capable of discharging 200,000 volts of electricity? This not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat energy as well. Heat? Then the combustions from last night were... Ellipses. For a human to burn and melt, 1600 degrees of heat must be generated. There are several hundred mitochondria present within a single cell. If all the mitochondria in the body began, began functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released. Melting a human with a, into a puddle of fluid would be a simple task with so much energy. So you're saying that the mitochondria united these people? Professor, you may be right in that we need the mitochondria to live, but in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? Uh -huh, you have no idea. The mitochondria has control over an organism's growth. Take this hand, for example. Before we're born, the hand is merely a glob of flesh. But when cells begin to between the fingers deteriorate, that's when the fingers first form. When the cells which make up the body are, aren't needed anymore, it receives a signal to die. This signal is initiated by the mitochondria. It is relayed the gene genetic information that the nucleus is cut off and in essence dies. The same can be said for aging, the mitochondria mutates 10 times faster than cells. Of course, this also applies to mutant forms of mitochondria as well. Doing too many mutant mitochondria but multiplies energy production level decreases. The decrease in energy production is associated with the aging process. So are you saying are you still stupid enough to say that we are the higher species? But you're not saying that the mitochondria is doing all this consciously, right? When I said that the mitochondria could mutate 10 times faster than normal cells, I also meant that they could evolve at a rate 10 times faster. Since the beginning of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at this rate. It's no surprise if they possess a power beyond our cognition, no surprise at all. Ellipses. Let me tell you something. There was a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. With this, the scientist wanted to establish a connection with human ancestry. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This finding was announced around the world. And with this, mitochondria's theory spread like wildfire. You know what they call the root of it all? 
mitochondria Eve. Smother name, Justin Grubble. Eve. The suspect in yesterday's case called herself Eve. What? Hey, if you know anything, you better not be home back on us. She called herself Eve? Sorry, but I told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know the way out. Hey, you better explain what the hell is going on here. <laughs> just ignores him. Daniel, forget it. Let's just go. He obviously knows something. It's not time now. And once again, we're driving uh, like a maniac. We're done, boys. What the hell is wrong with that guy? Can't stand him. Lipsies. That man. I've seen him before, but I can't remember where. Daniel, what? Okay, we'll be right there. Oh, yeah, looks like we got breaking the case. What? We gotta get back to the station. I, uh, hang on, I'm kicking this into turbo. You're already going fast enough. Melissa's solo concert was scheduled for today. She had disappeared after last night's incident and the concert was cancelled. But people are still gathering at the stage. We must not let another massacre happen again. This is the, this is, the concert is at the Central Park Amphitheater. Central Park? This is the part I fucking hate. What is it, Daniel? Ben and Lorraine, they're at that concert. Yep. What? She warned the energy. Well, he didn't. I mean, he didn't know, but it's just this. Daniel, we're not. Never mind. Um, screw you, Baker. My son's in danger. Daniel. I, uh, 
next Eve watch his back yes sir mod, not mod permanent um Coming to with you, Daniel, as soon as I store some stuff. When are you going to let me tune up the guns? And it has to be assigned here to watch over the warehouse all day, you know. As long as you see guns as toys, you'll never touch them. Hey, I know I can make a stronger gun than you, dumbass. Guns aren't supposed to be stronger, you numbskull. They're supposed to be safer. Fine, you geezer. Oh yeah, I didn't get. Did I get? Yeah, I did. I can... Oh, there's more ammo. Sorry, uh, didn't mean to make a scene. But that goes for you, too. You can never be too careful with a gun. Do you have an equipment modification permit with you? Sure do. I don't want... Don't know if I want to use it yet. Cantina, your equipment without permit, no exceptions. That's fine. Man, I could do it so much better. I could tune that gun into a cannon. Easy. You want to leave some here? Just keep the medicine too in the storage for now. I'll keep one medicine. Does Melissa or no Eve want from us? Well, it looks like she wants to gather people in one big area. Damn, that thing's got my boy involved. She's gonna pay for this. Let's hurry. Just hang in there, Ben. I'm coming for you. Kicking in the turbo. stop I got the my boy rookie try to warn you dude whoa
They managed to put out the, his arm fire. Sometimes you gotta look before you leap, oh timer. I don't care if I burn. Yeah, you should probably care. Like, you're just gonna die before you can save your son. That is, if he's alive. I'll go. Ben's my son. He's the only family I got. Damn it. I can't do anything. Leave it to me. Well, but, but. I'll get him out safe, I promise. Besides, Ben needs you. You won't do him any good if you're dead. Alright, I'm counting on you. Hey, uh, hey, uh. I know. I, uh, Ben's. Don't worry. I'll find him. I'll, I won't come back until I do. There, I can move now. See, I cannot cr cut across this grass. There's the police cars here, so... Dead police officers, maybe. Most likely. So I'm gonna save... Over that... File I made that, um... That the, the recording of. I can walk across this grass, but I can't walk up. I have to follow this road. See, I don't think there's anything down here. Nope. Snake. Oh, I'm poisoned. I did not get poisoned last time. It should be uh, detox, which gets rid of uh, poison. So I have to go into the Central Park Zoo. Nothing over here. There's Nam here. Yeah, Nam. It's basically weaker. I think it, I can get the, my action gauge to charge faster with it, but um, it's just weaker.
burn victim. He was here. Okay. Gotta make sure to check these. Cause I missed the key last time I had to come back here. Yep, the zoo key. This P vest. Is that everything? I don't know. No, it is better. the monkey guy the boomerang arm so I know how he fights just move away from once he throws it but he also has a melee attack Yeah, I don't know why, what's still with the 10. <laughs> I think that's how many points left to level up. Oh shit, I got this contact damage, and I just got fart gas on. Oh no! Fuck me then. I didn't die last time. Why did you switch to analog mode? Guess I'll uh, end it there for today.